We have an exclusive story tonight about a fight over a lost dog in Brooklyn. Midnight's owner says she now knows where her dog is thanks to a story we did right here on Eyewitness News. We visited with Midnight at a vet hospital earlier this month. Now, his owner wants him back, but the shelter caring for the dog turned her down. Eyewitness News reporter Josh Einiger with why Midnight can't go home. Everyone hoped for a happy reunion between this wayward pup and his owner, but instead the lab mix is the object of a vicious game of tug of war. I want my dog back. Deacon Norville calls him Gucci. As a person, I think she's very, very kind. Um, as a dog owner, she's not that responsible. But to Robert Masseri, the dog's name is Midnight. That's the time he was found roaming the streets after Superstorm Sandy. Masseri rescued him from certain death at a city shelter and two weeks ago set about finding him an adoptive home. They've been working very hard to try to find Midnight's rightful owners. When the story aired on Eyewitness News, Norville's grandmother saw the dog they know as Gucci, and the family got in touch. It was a couple of days before Superstorm Sandy. Norville and her family were clearing debris out of the back of the house, but left the gate open, and that's when the dog escaped. She says she figured he'd make his way back, so didn't worry that much. She was wrong. Gucci's odyssey spanned miles from East Flatbush to Bergen Beach, where he somehow survived the storm only to suffer a nasty bite on his foot. With no rabies tag, he sat in a cage under quarantine for six months. But after a home inspection revealed two unspayed pit bulls and a chain in the backyard, Masseri decided he would not be giving the dog back. Didn't help when Norville gave him this picture as proof the dog was hers, in which he was wearing the chain. He wouldn't stay still, so I changed to take the picture. I don't believe that. If I have to take it to the next step, I'll find a way to take it to the next step. It's not about me. It's not about her. It's for the safety of this dog. We will fight it uh, vigorously. A bitter custody battle that may not end anytime soon. Denise Flatbush, Josh Einiger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.